The Lake District National Park is more than lakes and mountains. It also includes part of the Cumbria coast at Ravenglass, probably better known for its narrow gauge railway. It is also a fantastic location for experiencing amazing sunrises and sunsets. I went to photograph a rare Viking cross at Gosworth Church for my programme about the Vikings, already published on YouTube, but in view of the distance from home, I stayed a couple of nights to savour the atmosphere of this unique location. No wonder Ravenglass is included in the National Park. Whilst car may be the preferred means of transport, Ravenglass does have a railway station with services from Lancaster and Carlisle, a journey regarded as one of the most scenic in the country as it hugs the coast for much of the way. Ravenglass's special significance is its setting at the estuary of three rivers, the Irt, Might and Esk, with sand stretching for miles into the Irish Sea. This fashions incredible sand patterns under a westering sky, but the photographer needs to exercise extreme care when wandering away from the coast path, as the estuary is tidal. But even if it is just for a few yards, wear waterproof boots or wellingtons. My trip was back in August 2016 when I was still using the EM1 and the 12 to 50 lens. My lodgings were in the village facing the estuary, exposed to the westerly winds, but idyllic if the weather is playing ball. I was lucky, and access to the sands took just a few minutes, but this is a landscape dominated by weather. For great pictures, you don't have to stray too far from the Cumbria Coastal Way, which if followed south takes you to the estuary of the Esk, and superb views back to the Lakeland Fells, with the river in the foreground. In the second century, the Romans used Ravenglass as a naval base, but the only evidence today of their stay is the bathhouse ruins just outside the village. Now, if you are feeling energetic, continue on the path and climb Newtown Knot for wide-ranging panoramas. Also, if you are into stately homes, Muncaster Castle is not far, and just within walking distance on good paths. But the main focus will be the estuary for photo shoots at dawn and dusk. To avoid washed out hues, so easy in an image having a high dynamic range, I tend to spot meter near a highlight and then correct, if necessary, the raw file in Adobe Lightroom. Whilst pursuing various activities on the beach, the occasional toot-toot from the nearby steam railway will not have escaped your notice. So why not finish an enjoyable vacation with a trip on the train up the Esk Valley to boot? An agreeable diversion, and you won't be disappointed. <laughs> 